Well, where's that gone? Okay, so it's got to be somewhere. <sighs> have you ever had that sinking feeling that you have lost your phone and the epic panic of thinking that all of the stuff that you've got saved on your phone could be lost forever? Well, now is the time to save your photos from your phone before it's too late. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. We store some precious memories on our phones. Gone are the days of the proper camera, but are you keeping all those photos safe and sound? In this video, I'm going to give you the best options to be able to save your photos from your phone so that you can keep them safely backed up now before it's too late. Option one, put them in the cloud. For both Android and iPhone, there is extra software that you can use to save your photos to the cloud. The advantage of this is that it will do it automatically without you having to intervene. It will just automatically, every time you take a photo, pop it into the cloud storage. However, nowadays you will probably have to spend a little bit of money to pay for that storage. But isn't it worth it if you know your photos are safe on the cloud? On the iPhone, you have iCloud. You just open settings on your device and tap your name at the top. Tap iCloud and then tap photos. Turn on the iCloud photos to start saving your photos to the iCloud. You can save space by optimizing the photo storage. But, and a big but, please remember that iCloud is a syncing service. So if you delete it from your phone, it goes from everywhere. So, although you are safe from a lost phone, you are not safe from accidental deleting. Keep this in mind. On Android, Google Photos is your best option. Open the Google Photos app and sign in if you need to. On the top right, tap your account photo or initials. Select Photos in Settings, followed by Backup and Sync. Toggle Backup and Sync to On. I would also set the upload quality to Original and it will cost a little bit more, but it will keep the original quality of your photos. Option two, an external hard drive. An external hard drive is a great option because they are secure and hard wearing. To get your photos to your drive, simply connect your phone via a USB cable to your computer. Connect the drive to your computer and copy over the photos from your phone. I am a big fan of the Lacey Rugged hard drives as they are really hard wearing, but you do have to be a little bit of a fan of orange. But to make life simpler, if you don't have a computer to hand, there are some hard drives out there that have their own Wi-Fi connections, which is actually part of the drive. So you can create your own little Wi-Fi network between your phone and the hard drive, and you literally download all your photos to the drive. Check out the Seagate Wireless Plus or the WD My Passport Pro Portable. The small issue with hard drives is you need to remember to regularly copy over your photos. So you need to set up a little schedule to remind yourself. And naturally, there will be a gap between when you've taken your photos and when you've backed them up, as I would be really impressed if you want to copy them all over every single day. But the choice is yours. What not to do. Another option that some people consider is to use a thumbnail or a USB drive. They are small, lightweight and easy to use. And there are even some specific ones out there for photos that can be very tempting to use. But they are not totally secure. If you lose it, anyone can have access to your photos. And on the subject of losing, those little drives are so easy to lose. Who hasn't lost one or in fact found one hanging around in a back of a drawer? So for me, this is an option that is only great for an emergency or maybe when you are off traveling and want to make sure that you are keeping your photos backed up and secure. But as an ongoing backup option, for me, it's no. So there you have it, the best options to be able to save your photos from your phone so you can keep them backed up now before it's too late. What other ways do you use to back up your phone photos? Leave them in the comments below. 
Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.